Okay, so this is just fun. I'm gonna be making a make. I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. So I already, just to start things off, I already put concealer on because I kind of decided halfway, hey, I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial, so that's what we're gonna do, my friends. Hold on, because you gotta, you know, they Snapchatted me, gotta see what it is. <clears throat> so to start off, um, I am doing, like, I'm just kind of messing around with this stuff. I got this whole box right here of stuff from Angela Mary Tanner on Instagram. I have a few more things over here but um she is a beauty blogger and she is my dad's friend's wife so she gave me some of the stuff she doesn't use anymore and I'm kind of just messing around with it um so just to like start off um this is what this looks really disgusting I'm sorry but this is what I used for my um it is the Maybelline master camo and I took where is it this OPV brush, and I put it in like the green, and I like covered up all the red spots and stuff, and then I blended it with this. So now I'm going to move on to my foundation. So I use two foundations. Let me turn up, put on my music actually, because I'm doing a voiceover now. I use two foundations. I have the Infallible Total Color in 301 and infallible total color in 303 and I mix these together because it doesn't quite match my skin tone otherwise so and then being I have it on my hand I'm just gonna kind of mix it together a little bit and then once I kind of have it mixed, I kind of just dot it on my face. Okay, then I'm going to just take wipe the extra off on this brush. Hold on, I'm getting it everywhere. Um, I'm taking the OPV brush again. I'm going to just blend it all in. Smoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the... I'll take care of all this later, but um, I might have to go back in with a beauty blender and just kind of blend it all out a little more because this brush is really laying it on thick. Oh, I might go back in with my beauty blender. Okay, so I'm going to pause that for a minute. I'm going to take my beauty blender here. I'm just going to blend it all in real quick because... Man, it's laying on pretty thick from this brush. I will take all the extra stuff off my lips then. Um, I'm going to take... I need a makeup wipe. This is kind of dirty. Sorry. But I'm just going to take this makeup wipe that I've kind of been using. And swipe it across my lips to keep... To get some of this foundation off. While I'm at it, I'm going to take my EOS chapstick and I'm going to just put some on there to soften it up a little bit. Okay. Um sorry it's more that you have to kinda of let, let your foundation dry so that's what I'm doing. But um this I believe yes. Okay so this is the Shell Cream Face Contour from Pumpkin and Poppy. So I'm going to put this on this it's really dark, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna take my other OPV brush. I think like this is really not gonna work. I'm just gonna put it in there. This looks really dark. I don't know how I like that. See, like I said, I'm experimenting as we go along. It looks very gray. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it in and see if it like kind of comes out any better or not. It's at this point, it's not looking too hot, so. So, okay. Um. That didn't really work. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go back over this with some of my foundation, because I have another cream contour that I'm gonna 
just put on because that kind of went south. Alright. So I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick. It's a highlight and contour stick, so I'm just gonna swipe some of this on right here. Right here. Uh, contour this nose. cheekbone action in there too. Alright. Where's my... Where the... There it is. Alright, I don't know where the hell I put my lid. So we're gonna go back in with this blending brush again. Oh, it's a little wet now. I'm kind of saturated. Alright, so we're just gonna go in and we're gonna blend it. Like so. I kind of go a little more gung-ho under here. It looks like some pretty good contour, I must say, for my little. Just kind of still blending it all out, you know. And blend out my nose. Um. Wow. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Alright. Now. So here I have my setting powder, the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna lay it under my eyes kind of to like bake a little bit. Normally I'd put it all over my face, but now I'm starting to like think that maybe that's not such a good idea. I feel like it doesn't really work that way. Alright. So I'm going to let my face bake as I do my eyebrows. So, for my eyebrows, I have the Too Faced Brow Envy, which is also all this. A lot of this stuff is actually from Angela Mary, so I will tell you if it is. First, I'm just gonna kinda spoil these eyebrows out. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but it's what I do. And then in the palette, it has. I'm trying to not have these fall. It has the highlight, the setting wax. I have blonde and brunette, so I'm going to do brunette because I'm obviously brunette. There's a cap. Alright, and I'm just going to- I need to use this mirror, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to line. No. Okay, so we're going to try this again. We're just going to line it. Fleaky as fuck are our goals, my friends. Sorry if you can hear like talking and stuff, it's my aunt and her boyfriend. Okay, so that eyebrow doesn't look that bad. Now we're gonna do the other one. Start off by lining it and filling it in, giving it a nice arch. I'm all about that arch. So this eyebrow is actually like rounder and darker, so I think I kind of have to go a little light on it. Alright, so that looks okay in my eyes, so I'm gonna put some of, of this setting wax on top of it. I don't know if this, I highly doubt this is how you're supposed to use it, but it's how I'm using it. And then I'm gonna take my spoolie again, and I'm just gonna go back over it. And then I'm gonna put the highlight under my brow bone right there. Kind of blend it out a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm gonna inspect the box a little anal about that. Alright, so we are gonna blend this out now. I have the Real Techniques brush. It kind of wore off because I got this from a while ago, so I can't really see what it says. So I'm just gonna take it under and I'm gonna just powder up here. Alright, so that part is done. Um, so I don't know if I want to use the palette she gave me, which is Coastal Sense Revealed Palette. It's still in its packaging, sorry. It's part of me to just throw things everywhere. So this palette has a lot of colors in it. 
and I'm not sure really how pigmented they are. Or I was gonna use my Modern Renaissance palette, which looks really disgusting. Um, I think for right now, I probably should go with this palette because I just got it. I'm not sure what I do for my eyes though. Hmm. I'm not really good at doing eyes, TBH. Alright, so we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna jump in here. I think we're just gonna jump in as well. We're gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Real Techniques base shadow brush. And I'm gonna take like this lightest color right here and I'm gonna put it on as a base. So I didn't really do much from the last time I cut. I'm back. So I'm just taking like this gray shadow and kind of just starting outwards and going in like that. Get your ass on the wall with your two left feet. It's real easy, just follow the beat. Don't let that fight. Okay. So what is this? It's precision round. Do I wanna use this? I don't know really. Okay, so we're gonna stick with our base brush here. Um, so I'm gonna go, uh, like, more kind of in, like, the crease a little bit, and I want to add some color. So I think I'm gonna use, like, this purple, or maybe the one on the outside. Okay, we're gonna use this purple right here. Right here. It's kind of like a purplish color. Oh my god, never mind. It's actually fucking black. <laughs> so, okay. Kind of gotta... This is real fucking dark. So we're gonna go back in with kind of like, no, like going for there. We're gonna go with the lighter color. I think I'm gonna go for this color right here. Okay, so it's like not really working, but. I also have like some Sigma loose powder that I wanna try to go in there with. Wow. Wowza. Okay. So I need to put something under like this. So I kind of want to do like a bold color, like a bold statement color. Okay, so we're gonna go very almost like purple, which really is not purple, it's black. So now I look like a raccoon. Um, let me put this over here. So I have some loose powders. I think I'm gonna do loose, it's called Supernatural Loose Shimmer. Got a text message from the boyfriend. Six and a half hours later. Oh, okay. There's purple we were going for. This is very, very disgusting. This might end up to be like a fail. It's like, I think I look like Halloween. <laughs> Okay, so new plan. I'm gonna take this atrocity, like atrocity off, and I'm gonna put my base back on, and we're gonna start over, but this time we're using my modern renaissance palette, which I know what I'm doing, so be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and we're gonna try this again. So change baths, we're using this modern renaissance. So I think, let me just do it real quick. This is clean. I'm going to use this Tarte Lippy Lip, sorry, Lip Wonder. I'm not sure what color it is because it does not say. But it's more like a red kind of pinkish tone. So I think I'm going to go with like a more reddish pinkish tone in here. We'll see. Um, when I do Modern Renaissance, I don't use a base color. I don't know if that's like weird or not. Um, so we are going to start off with, um, this blonde fresco kind of color and kind of just put it all over. I guess maybe I kind of use this as my base, although it's really not like a base coat. I don't think I'm talking about nail polish, but I'm not. Alright, cool. So, kind of put that blonde fresco color all around. Base texting me. All right. So now I'm gonna go in 
with this kind of red, I don't know how to say that, ochre or over, I don't know, but it's kind of a red color. Or maybe, maybe we do Venetian, the Venetian red first. So I kind of just start out here and like work my way in kind of thing. Like that, yeah. So it comes out to like that. Do it on the other side too. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, we're gonna take like this red color. I'm gonna put it under my eyes. This is where I'm gonna put it. Point is kind of like smoke it out a little bit. Okay. Um. So next, I'm gonna go in with oh, throwing it everywhere. Okay. So I'm using the Master Precise. By I Studio Maybelline. I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it out here. Body of a sexy strut. Wanna get it poppin', baby? Step right Some up. Some girls they got retarded. Some girls are body body. I'm looking for a girl that will do whatever the fuck I say. Every day she be giving it up. No. Shame. Um, I'm gonna kind of like wash off my hands like a little bit because I want to apply to him. I don't know if you can see this, but like he asked me what I was doing. Oh, and I was like, mess around my makeup. I was like, what about you? And he's like, just watching TV, missing you. Alright. Time to resume. So I'm now gonna curl my eyelashes because you gotta curl them, bitches. I like keep forgetting to use the makeup she gives me, so like this is like turning into a bad um like makeup tutorial. Because the goal was to use like a lot of the new makeup. Um so for mascara I use two lash uh two mascaras. Um the first one is from It Cosmetics and it is called Hello Lashes. So I put that on kind of like lightly. That ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Come on girl, shake that. So the second mascara I use is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and yes, it is a travel size because I am baroque and I cannot afford the real size. So. That ass for me, come on, girl, shake that ass for me, shake that ass for me. I'm a menace, a dentist, and on hygienist. Open your mouth for about four or five minutes. Take a little bit of this fluoride ridden, squish but don't. I don't know the lyrics of the song, I can't tell. These days off frustration. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I feel like I was gonna do something I forget. Oh, wait, no, what I know what I was gonna do. So, I don't know how many people you do this, because now I'm going to be moving on to um, lips. Or should I wait to do that, actually? I think I should finish my face. Anyway, as I'm just gonna finish what I was saying. So, I use something to make my lips bigger because I have bird lips. Yeah, bird lips. So this is like, I don't know how to, it's called Benetint by Benefit. And it's like a liquid tint, I guess you can use it to do lip stuff or even blush. I'm not really sure how well as a blush it's gonna work, but I feel like I'm gonna really like screw up my makeup doing it this way. Maybe you should just stick to making it a tint or like lips. Okay, so it's like a nail polish brush. It's cute. I use it as a lip tint, but not as a blush. It doesn't really work. So this I did get from her, and I put it in this bag because it just, like, I needed a new blush. But this is the Big Easy by Cargo. Sorry, this container is really hard to open. Someone's calling me. I don't recognize the numbers. I'm not going to answer. All right. So it's like a pinkish blush, 
and I'm going to use this slanted brush. Um, I'm not sure like what's it called, like what it is called, because I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna start out here first and kind of work my way. In. Some double D's, pop a little champagne, and a couple these slipping in a bubbly. We bring fun to have a party. Where's my? Oh, the lid's right here. Uh, all right. So I'm going before I do my lips. Oh, I need to puff them up. So I'm gonna puff them up first. I just kind of suck into this old foundation lid. <laughs> oh my god! I can't even close my mouth! <laughs> okay, so it kind of worked, kind of did. I'm gonna put the highlight on now. Uh, it's not really angled like I wanted it to. Alright, so I'm gonna put the highlight on now. Oh, I forgot to see what my highlight is. Jesus. I'm kind of failing at this whole, like, thing. I just got Alright, it is Pink Diamonds by e.l.f. So, I'm really screwing with my socks right now. Kind of put it on the tip of my nose, then down the bridge of my nose. And then, kind of just swipe it on. Um, and it creates a very nice pink tint. Uh, now we're gonna take, like I said, the uh, Tarte Wonder for your lip. I'm just gonna put it on there. Uh -huh. Let's get it started. Go ahead and shake it. I'm looking for a girl like a fuck in my Hummer truck. Apple bottom jeans and a big old Some girls they act retarded. Some girls are body body. I want a bitch to sit in the crib with no panties on. Knows that she can't. So I have it on. I feel like I need to put some sort of lip gloss on the top of it. I have the circle one, but I'm not sure if I really like, like it that much. I don't know if I wanna. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it on top. Okay. Oh, that's so stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm done. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, cause like, I just, I feel like I look really stupid. Ah, snatch your forehead the fuck up. Hmm. I'm not really good with like bold lips. We could probably sit here forever until I like, I decide that I like it. I really don't think I don't like it. All right. So, I don't like it. <laughs> I've decided I don't like it. Um, probably, I just, I don't think it looked right on me. So, thank you very much for watching me do my makeup, even though I don't really like how it turned out. Um, thank you for watching anyway. Um, so, Angela Mary Tanner is the girl that gave me all the makeup. So go follow her on Instagram. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching me do the makeup. I love you all and bye. And she won't say no. Look at this lady on front of me. Sexy as can be.